back friends this is Solomon Jogwe I'm back with another quick insight so this new project was exciting because I am a big fan of Lauren Kim she's a stand double for the Daredevil series uh, for Marvel so I am I really wanted to stretch Wonder Studio to see how well it would actually track and capture some of her awesome awesome you know martial arts movements so uh, there are some really cool new features in here in uh, Wonder Studio so I'll go to uh, create a new project and normally we you know before i think in the previous videos that i did you didn't see this part right here the live action advanced and so you can continue without it but then there's also if you swap over here it switches over to the live action advanced and this is where i wanted to really test what the dynamics to see how well it will do so what you've just watched is a result of this new uh the, the new features in the live action advanced system for wonder Di uh, wonder studio I keep saying Wonder Dynamics, Wonder Studio. So let's continue. I'll show you how I walked through this. We can continue there. And we're going to call this, uh, then give the name. So this is going to be Kali Fight. And let's go ahead and load that uh, video. So I this is a 4K video that I'm going to use. And uh, so over here so far you don't see anything different until you drag this footage over to the timeline and it creates this and still you don't see anything different because if the advanced features come in the next stage first you have to track the actor so we're going to be tracking this actor let's see i need a, a shot where both actors are in the frame Okay, so we'll go next. And we're gonna scan for actors in the frame, scan frame for actors. And uh, I picked this video because it has two uh, different uh, costumes for the actors. And so the Vident Fighter, but I want to use this one. And I wanna use the robot, <laughs> this desert robot right here. And the scientist. So that's gonna go through and after you notice that after i assigned the actor all these new features showed up so we have advanced retargeting which is really really cool which didn't have that before you can have fit ik you can have risk ik and i think i want to try that one the fit ik because i want to be able to like plant those feet really well and you can scale the character so normally in the previous videos that i tested the characters will stay like really tiny in some cases but this is gonna fill the frame with this car with the actor and then so for the pelvis offset i'll just leave that as is and you can see that the shot type is going to be auto but you could if it was like one camera then you could be able to pick just one of these but i want it to stay auto because it's gonna track the actor across the frames the, the different shots and so and uh, the motion type i'm gonna leave that to auto as well because I want to see how well it captures everything. It's going to estimate the hands, the feet lowering, the feet contacts as well. So feet contacts, maybe this is a, I don't know if this is going to like offset that or cancel it out, but uh, I want to do two videos. So you know what? If they're going to have feet contacts, uh, let me turn off fit IK for now, and maybe I'll do another video with fit IK enabled. So this is the default setting. So we'll leave it to that. And then down here, we have the uh, global settings and that is also set to auto okay and we'll leave it at that as well and so one thing that i've noticed again in another video that i did uh the system didn't capture the actor across cuts so i'm really curious to see how well it's gonna go through and scan and find that actor because the actor is in red so I'm hoping that uh, that costume will be able to, there will be the system will be able to find her, <laughs> right? Because I want to see how well it does, you know, in terms of uh, without me having to set keyframes. And maybe I'll do another video where I keyframe to see the difference and I'll compare the results. So for this one, uh, we're just going to deal with this one frame where the, uh, the character is right here in red. And we'll see how well it tracks across, right? And then in my next video, I'll be able to do uh, where I actually go through and try to find and maybe help the system to track the car, the actor. All right. So when this is done, now that we've identified that part, I'm going to go uh, next. 
and we definitely want to go 4K. Uh, we're going to do MP4. We want the AI mockup. We want the Blender scene. We want the clean plate. and want the alpha masks. And we're going to start processing. So, uh, again, like I was saying, that uh, that's the process that I went through to be as I was. Uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts as I was going through to, to prepare. The, the video and so the results that you just saw at the beginning of this video was what I did, uh, what the system produced after the settings that I used. So, uh, so join me again in another video <laughs> to see, I'm gonna do some adjustments and select different settings and then we'll see what, how that goes. But for now, that is the result. So man, how awesome is that? When you get a chance guys, please uh, subscribe to Lorraine Kim's uh, YouTube channel and uh, give us some love. <laughs> Show her some love with a, a subscription and comment. And, uh, but uh, I don't know. She's already doing real well in uh, the Marvel Universe. So who knows? But uh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me again. Please stay safe. As always, dare to dream big. What an, else? Uh, an amazing time to be alive, right? This is an incredible technology. And we're going, I'll continue to share my videos and my tests as I uh, go through the beta testing period. Uh, so you get a chance to see what it's like. Recording. Thank you so much and bye for now.